Hey you guys, I just wanted to come on and say hi. Uh, I am Stacy and this is Kevin and we thought we'd come on once a week and kind of talk about um, a landlording topic. Uh, this week we had a new blog post out about marketing and getting to know your neighborhood. So we thought maybe that might be a good way to start off. Stacy had a suggestion that uh, I put on my sweater and loafers and walk in here like Mr. Rogers, but I nixed that pretty quick. Um, yeah, the blog this week, it, it's kind of interesting. It's a way to market your property. I'm assuming a lot of you, when you buy your investment property, obviously you look at the area it's in, um, the pluses, the minuses before you buy. And But when you're marketing it to your tenants, you want to emphasize the good things about your neighborhood. And the best way, I think, is firsthand. And it came to us almost by accident about a couple of years ago with our property up in the Sacramento area. Yeah, we had a little uh, issue with termites and uh, had to tent the place. And so we had to end up spending the night up there. Uh, we'll we'll do a whole nother blog post on that later because it was quite an experience. But um, regardless, uh, the guys that were putting the tent on and all that, they, the process took a little bit longer than we thought. And uh, so I decided I was gonna walk over to our hotel and check in and, and just kind of check things out. And I walked there, which was because it was only about a mile and a half away. And I really had never walked the neighborhood before. And I was really pleasantly surprised to uh, to see all the, the great positive aspects about about where our our apartment complex was located. And we know, you know, when we're marketing, we know there's a kind of a restaurant, bar, entertainment area. We're kind of in Midtown. So we know there's a lot around that area and you kind of driving in and out, you kind of see it and where the grocery stores is, is and all that type of stuff too. And Starbucks. Yeah. But when you walk through neighborhoods, you can kind of see it firsthand. And we went out to dinner that night and like, oh, this spot is great. Or, you know, people that we kind of know in the building have kind of mentioned how they really enjoy. And we kind of like, oh, that's nice to know. But when you see it firsthand, it really, you know, gets you. And then one of the things we also did, too, not just talking to people about it, almost we were thinking like almost like you're a concierge. When you go to a hotel, when you look on the on the papers there, their list like, oh, here's something's in the area, tourist areas, or it's a, you know, two miles to the nearest hospital, or it's five minutes downtown, three or four blocks to restaurants. That's a nice thing you can put in your ad copy. Um, but it's when you're talking to the tenants themselves or their pr prospective tenants, and uh, they're asking you about the area, it comes across as more genuine and more personal, and you can really sell it. And it also, it shows you, you know, pride in the neighborhood. And I think they pick up on that also. Yeah, you know, when you're working on your ad copy, it's always good to put in, like when you have, you know, big medical centers near you, a university, those kinds of things. But when you're talking one-on-one -on -one to a prospective tenant, when you're, you know, you're showing them the unit, you can ask them their hobbies and just say, you know, what are you interested in? If they say they're interested in hiking, go, oh, there's great hiking trails around here. I mean, but you got to know where the hiking trails are. Or if they like to cook, you can maybe know when the farmer's market is and things like that so that, you know, it kind of draws them in and makes them want to live there. And no matter where you are in the neighborhood, it's it's some uh, deals you do to, to to work, but it's better than like, you know, painting the unit or whatever. Enjoy yourself. Go out if it's, if it's in the area and you have to spend the night. If there's a ball team or whatever, go to a ball game in the area, go to a concert or something like this. It can be fun. It can be enjoyable going out to dinner. We, you know, for all the work we had with the termite issue... We still talk about that, you know, like, hey, we should, you know, if we're up there late, we should stop by this place again and, you know, get a bite to eat or, you know, get a nice little, it was a great little coffee shop and a pastry. So it's kind of fun work too. Yeah, and we're not suggesting that you have to spend the night up there, but, you know, maybe you'll have to schedule appointments with a prospective tenant at 10 in the morning or 5 o'clock in the afternoon or on a Saturday afternoon or something like that. So every time you get a, di a different time frame to be able to be in the area, take take a walk around the area. I know sometimes Kevin will take the dog for a walk if I'm busy showing a unit, and um, he'll come back and always say, oh, you know, I found a new restaurant or there's a new cafe that opened up or, or something like that. So it's always, um, it doesn't matter, you know, that you spend the night, but maybe just take some time to, to get to know the neighborhood at different times of the day. So to uh, check out this, check our blog on our website, and I uh, hope there's some uh, nice tips for you. <laughs>
Talk to you soon.